the St. Lucia Geothermal Project was financed by the United Nations Revolving Fund for Natural Resources Exploration, the St. Lucia Government, and by the United States Agency for Development. An important geothermal resource of superheated steam was discovered in the volcanic island of St. Lucia in the Sulphur Springs area. After years of studies, research, tests, and almost one year of drilling, two deep wells were completed. One of these was productive. The fluid was discharged into the atmosphere at the speed of sound. Present at this event were experts and engineers from Aquaterre SPA of the ENI group, who supervised the project through all phases, starting with surface exploration, management of the project, including all drilling, well testing, and geochemical, as well as geological control of the wells. During the drilling phase, continuous control of the gas content of the mud was performed. The amounts of hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and methane were recorded. Considering that the economy of St. Lucia is based essentially on tourism and agriculture, the environmental impact produced by geothermal fluids was assessed. According to the established program, water and gas samples were collected of the two-phase produced initially by the well for laboratory analysis of both the major elements and polluting substances normally found in hydrothermal fluids. The equipment for deep well drillings reached the island by ship and was transported to the well sites through hilly areas. As foreseen, Temperatures in the range of 300 degrees centigrade were encountered at a depth of 1,400 meters. At last, the decisive moment arrived. The valves were opened, and the success of the project was confirmed. First, gas. Then, water. And finally, a spectacular column of steam was discharged into the atmosphere. This steam represents the island's future energy supply. The quality of the fluid is exceptionally good. It is dry steam with a power of about 3 megawatts and enthalpy ranging from 2,800 to 2,900 kilojoule per kilogram, similar to that of the geothermal basin in Tuscany, Italy an outstanding energetic contribution for a country whose power demand does not exceed 15 megawatts. The project is extremely important for the future economy of this island, both for industrial development and the tourist trade. This international effort was coordinated by the United Nations Revolving Fund in New York, who supported geothermal research in the island. Based upon results obtained from the drilled wells, it has been suggested to continue with the second stage of the feasibility study and after that with the installation of the power plant to satisfy St. Lucia's energy demands. This involves drilling of three additional deep wells to tap the reservoir already encountered at this well. Because of severe drilling site restrictions imposed by the complex topography of the area, drilling of directional wells seems to be mandatory. To perform an adequate assessment of the geothermal reservoir, long-term production tests as well as pressure transient tests involving several wells should be carried out. It is also necessary to verify the non-condensable gas evolution under a long-term exploitation period, as well as to test several materials with the produced fluids to determine those more suitable to be used in the turbines.